What's up everyone, this is Pocket Tech giving you a little quick tutorial on how to use Adobe Photoshop CC for 2015. Now Photoshop is a little bit difficult to learn on your own, so hopefully this video will help you out and you can make some pretty awesome thumbnails and do some awesome Photoshop art with this tutorial. If you play around with it enough, you'll probably get the gist of it, but let me just show you how I learned it. So we'll start with our toolbar. This is probably one of the most important things on Photoshop, it's how you move things around. We have nothing on our screen right now, so we'll just make an ellipse with our next tool, which is the Marquee Tool. Let me show you how Marquee Tools work. So, this is basically the shapes you can make, we'll just make a circle. Like so. And then we're going to go down to our paintbrush, and we'll make a nice green color. But I want to paint outside of it but I can't. So this is actually because I have a little bit of high feathering on the ellipse, 50, you can adjust that. We'll just make it like one, but it doesn't change now because I already painted. But the, um, the idea of a marquee tool is to prevent you from painting outside the circle, which is very helpful. So that's basically our object we're gonna use and this is just how you move it. Oops. Gonna first we gotta unlock the layer. Alright, there we go. There we go. We're moving our picture. So this is a lasso. So a lasso is basically you can make a free form like ellipse uh marquee. There's lasso polygonal magnetic lasso you just make any shape you want. Um Polygonal is just making a polygon. Magnetic is probably the my favorite because if you go really slow, it will go to exactly the shape of it instead of you freehanding it. So there we go. This is our quick selection and magic wand tools. Quick selection will easily select if you just draw it. It's not very accurate right now because my feathering is up. But, this is a magic wand, easily select something. So now this is our crop tool. Again, crop it to whatever you want, but we're not gonna crop it just for the sake of this video. This is our eyedropper tool. It can detect the correct color. So as you can see, the values differ as you go in and out of the circle. So you want to add to this value, we can just go to our Paintbrush and paint that color. Okay, deselect that. You can just paint it now this color. There we go. This is our uh, photo retouching. Just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go over this because it's a little too complicated. But if you want a full tutorial on how to uh, retouch a photo, leave a comment down below. This is our paintbrush, pencil, you know, probably know what to do. So we're just gonna erase that soon. Let's just erase this so we can get on with our, the rest. Actually, we didn't even have to do that. We're gonna undo eraser, make a new layer. Then we'll put another ellipse in a, this color. Option delete, we'll fill it. There we go. All right, so. That is our pencil tool. This is our clone stamp. This is kind of important as well. Oops. Press option. Click on your source point. It will paint the exact color and the exact values right there. You adjust the size of the brush like so. And there you go. And if you put your source point in here, you can make the interior. Actually, no, you can't because it's under it. But... Alright, this is History Art Brush. You don't really have to know this for simple Photoshop. Erasing. Very simple. Grading tool. Probably my favorite tool. You just uh, click and pull. You get a nice gradient. And there's different types. Like that. You can get this sort of one. Probably my favorite. The line. And but the radial is probably the nicest one. I'm gonna hide.
buy that. This is our smudge tool. So let's go to our gradient layer again. Our smudge tool will blend. Make this bigger. It will blend all the colors. As you can see. You can see the colors are blending. And yeah, that's basically it. I mean, yeah, with the smudge tool. So on to our next tool. This is the sharpen tool, which essentially makes it sharper. Nothing too special going on here. Now this is the dodge tool. Again, these tools are kind of insignificant to what you guys would probably be doing right now. Um, uh, I probably would not recommend using these unless you know the service very, very well. The pen tool is also a little bit confusing, but the text tool is something you'll most likely be using most of the time. And that just select. These are just a couple other ones. This is how you make a box. This is kind of important if you're looking to make lower thirds, which I have a tutorial in the upcoming days. Very, very simple. So this is the foreground and background. Also very important. You can switch them with that little arrow and you can change the colors by simply clicking the boxes and choosing a different color. All right, so now getting to the top bar, that is gonna change depending on what kind of tool you're using. I mostly use the tool to adjust the brush size of the brush tool and um, that can change. I Again, I only use it when I use the brush and that's basically it. Very, very simple. There's nothing too confusing about that top bar, so don't let it scare you. Getting to the most important thing, we're going to check out that layers bar. Now it looks a little more confusing than it actually is, but this is so important to your whole Photoshop experience. First tip, make when you're making a new shape, make it one on every different layer so you can adjust and it won't stick to any other um, objects. But it's so hard to tell you and sit in how simple, in a simple way, but layers, um, they're kind of like sheets of paper, in a sense. You can take them out, you can put them in, you can say like it goes above it or below it, and this essentially changes your whole design and it's very important. If you right click on a layer, you can see tons of features you can use on that specific layer, like special effects, like duplicating, merging, things like that. Stuff that are very essential to your product that you're making in Photoshop. So that really concludes our video. Thank you guys so much for checking out this quick and easy tutorial on Photoshop. If you have any further suggestions on videos you want me to make on Photoshop, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.